Any, anybody with eyes can see what's real and what's not. Hey, my YouTube fam, it is your girl AJ, and I'm back with another video. And you already know what I'm gonna say. If you F with me the long way, go ahead and give this video a, a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, y'all, it took me forever to make this video. Like, I don't record this video 1,200 times trying to make sure I don't forget something. Each time, I forget something. So, I'm apologizing in advance if I have to go in and add some voiceovers. So, we're going to try to get through this. Because I wasn't expecting it to do a four. But since I love y'all so much, I had to come with a part four. Now, where I left off at in part three... I'm going to kind of go back a little bit and we're going we gonna to branch out from when they did their Q&A. You know, they came out here. Um, they had did a video before that one. Before they dropped the Q&A, they did a video of Latoya making lasagna. Yeah, exactly. When she made the lasagna, I'm going to put a clip in here so y'all can see it. You know, a lot of people like to drain, drain the grease, but uh, I don't drain the grease. So. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, what? It's going to be good and bad at the exactly. same time. Exactly. <laughs> You'll be fine. But they came on here and they did a video of her making the lasagna first and then they did a QA. And of course, y'all know in the QA, I was telling y'all that they was talking about how Mucka was going to be there for the baby and how that if he wasn't, Toy was going to make him stand up. Yada, yada, yada. So we're going to fast forward to this part. Do you guys remember that around this time when Toya. And the Mucker family came out. Cryo had dropped a video saying that somebody was stalking him. Cryo had dropped a video saying that somebody was stalking him. And we were like, what did what Cryo talking about? So Cryo do this video. And he's saying that he came home one day and he seen this black SUV parked by the stop sign. And it kind of threw him off a little bit because he was like, who is out here parked out by my house? Cryo said you can still, when you go, if you're going to the stop sign, you can still get to the stop sign by going around this SUV. So Cryo said he see this SUV sitting outside his house. So as he's backing up in, he noticed that somebody's in the vehicle. So Cryo is backing up in his, his garage and he see these people still watching him. So Cryo said he reached for his garage opener to um, move it to his other tr car, truck, whatever he was driving. Cryo said he reached up to grab that and he still noticed these people looking. So Cryo said he get out his vehicle and he goes out of his garage and he looking at these people like, yo, I see you. He said the people notice that Cryo is, you know, getting a little agitated. So they leave. Cryo said when they leave, he see the license plate and he's like, oh, oh, y'all trying to play dirty watching my house. Okay, I'm going to put some clips so y'all can see what Cryo is and this is real story, guys. This ain't cap. This ain't no clickbait, none of that stuff. This is this is 100% real. This is a serious situation. I backs into the garage. Now I'm sitting in my car, finna grab my uh, you call it thing, garage opener. Cause when I switch cars, I always make sure that I put the garage opener back in the car I'm gonna drive the next day. So I was reaching up to take the garage opener down so I can take it and put it in my truck. And I I get to looking real close. I moved up like a couple inches. So now I know that they're looking at me. They're looking directly at me, guys. And it's crazy. So you know what I did? I stepped out the car. I stepped out of the garage. And I looked right over at them. It was one of those looks to let them know that I was looking at them. Now, it didn't dawn on me who it was until they pulled off and I seen the lights in play. Because I was like, oh, they watching the man house? Y'all don't got together. Now y'all watching this house? So, Toya and Mucker are doing the second half of their Q&A. They said one of their subscribers asked them, are they stalking? And Toya was like, she's the first person to ask the question. And she was like, no, we're not stalking anybody. Why would we be stalking anybody? Like, we're together. We ain't stalking nobody. We don't know what you're talking about. And if Cryo feel like somebody's stalking him, he need to go to the police department. So she's saying that, and then she say, in fact, I'm the one who is being stalked. I got all kind of weird stuff going on at my house. Now, y'all remember this clip I'm about to insert. Is This is when Love by Erica and the Mucka family are about to go on a date, and Love by Erica mentioned the fact that she's about to drop Dion off, or she dropped Dion off at Toya's house so, she, so he can spend time with his dad. You know, 
Not having both of my kids, I dropped Dion off at Latoya's house uh, yesterday, and um, so that he can spend the weekend with, you know, his dad and um, and then uh, Cammy is with Mama Mucker. So Toya is pretty much trying to say that since Little by Erica came to her house, some strange stuff has been going on. Her address has been leaked. Oh yada yada yada. So she's pretty much trying to insinuate that Erica is trying to do some shady stuff. Now, in my mind, while she's saying this, I'm like, girl, I know what you're trying to do, but we're going to get back to that. So they're doing this Q&A, and there's a couple of things that I want to touch on in this in the second Q&A that they did. Toya said another subscriber asks, how do you guys feel now that you're not in that toxic relationship? And they are eating. So Mucker was like, you know what? I'll go first. So as Mucker is going and saying, describing the situation he went through with him and uh, Erica, Toya has now stopped eating because Mucker is telling the viewers that even though him and Love by Erica was in a toxic situation, they may be toxic together, but that don't make her a bad person. And he still had love for her. Now Toya is sitting over here looking. I'm going to insert a clip so y'all can see her facial expression. She's looking like, Really? Me and you together, and you still going to have a nerve to try to get this, this lady a compliment? Like, all the stuff I done told you, all the stuff I said she done did, and you still on here trying to get her a compliment? Toya, you can see the look on her face. I'm in search. Healthy co-parenting situation, just like the one that I already have. So, that's what I'm hoping for. And, you know, just with our prayer and us doing our part, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You know? So Mucker is just, you know, just pretty much explaining his side. And then Toya go. And when she go, you can hear it in her voice that she's pretty much upset about what, what Mucker said. But she just playing it along. So anyway, she tells her part and she was like, well, you know, that situation I was in. Yeah, um, I gave him a few chances. But after the third chance, that was it. And I'm the type of person, if you do something, I just throw the man away. And just going about my business. And she was like, I got to quit doing that. I'm going to start a clip because I don't know what word for word what she said. But I need for y'all to pay attention to that part because it's going to make sense later on. I know what I want. And I feel like you have to be what I want or I'll just throw you on to the birds. And So she's saying that. And then Mucker kind of cuts her off. And he goes again. And he was like, a lot of y'all think that... I'm trying to be there for Love by Erica, but Love by Erica changed her number. I even reached out to her so I could send her food. And I wanted to be there for her and the baby. I'm gonna insert a clip so y'all can I'm so so he can say it so y'all can hear what he's saying. And I still even have love for that individual children too. Yeah. I tried reaching out. I tried reaching out to to help with them. I said, hey, I'll pick them up, give you a couple hours of rest. No, nah, I'm good. Okay, what else do y'all want me to do? Do y'all want me to show up at somebody's house and then now, now all of a sudden harassment you're seeing you. harassment, you're seeing yeah. stalking allegations being thrown out. And as he's saying this, Toya is still has this look on her face as though she is like disappointed because Mucker is saying he still, um, he's, that don't mean he don't have love for her. He still want to be there for the kids and he hope they have a healthy co-parenting relationship and Toya is looking like, what the f You still want to have a co-parenting relationship with her? You still think it's your baby? So that part goes by. And then Toya pretty much say, well, they belong with each other. They both are toxic. Like, they taking shots in the video to Love by Erica and Cryer. They were saying that Cryer and Love by Erica is toxic and they belong together. And I'm like, y'all just got on the scene and y'all taking shots at these people already. So they end the video off saying that Love by Erica and Cryer deserve each other. They are toxic together. And that's it. So time go, goes on. And Mucker and Toya are still dropping videos. They still dropping videos. They still taking shots at Love by Erica and Cryer. And, and, it's, and it's, just, it's just a shit show. We watching. So on the other hand, you got Toya and Mucker over here making these videos. And they'll take a shot at Love by Erica and Cryer every now and again. And then you got Cryer and Love by Erica over here making their videos. You know, they doing they, they doing their thing. Like, everybody is like, Q 
curious as to what Muck and Toya got going on. And we trying to figure out what Love by Eric and Cryer got going on. Because while they're making this video, Love by Erica is insinuating that Cryer is her child father. And we like, wait a minute, is Cryer the baby daddy or is Muck the baby daddy? Because Muck and over here taking shots saying that Cryer is the baby daddy. So everybody is just like, you know, curious. Now, meanwhile... Mucker and Toya drops another video after they uh, first Q&A. You know, they did their first Q&A explaining to us how they got together, why they got together. So after that, they drop a video of Mukbang at Toya house. And they're just pretty much coming on here saying that everybody loves that they're together and everybody giving them big ups. So Mucker and Toya is at Toya house at the kitchen table doing a Mukbang. And Toya is pretty much saying she's having to move because she feels unsafe. Her address has been leaked. She's got to move. Now, remind you guys that I said that Love by Erica dropped Baby Dion off and Toya was throwing these hints to Mucker that she was feeling unsafe. And now she's packing up her house to move. Or move. Because me, I'm not going to put me and my kid's life in jeopardy. Y'all playing with my address? Bro, it's time for me to go. Her house, where she she had the mortgage on, I don't, I don't know, but people... Anyway, Toya supposedly was buying this house so she just moved because she felt unsafe and i'm like girl i don't care who show up or who doing what i'm not leaving the house that i pay um, that i that i pay for it's just not gonna happen you show up your ass gonna be laid out so simple as that so toy is packing up saying she gonna move and mucker family mentioned in this video he was like you don't you you got plenty of places to go if you can't find nothing so they're doing the videos or whatever. Everybody's doing the videos. Everything is going good. Toya and Mucker are continuously kind of take slick shots at Love by Eric and Cryer. Not directly, but indirectly. They were saying slick stuff. So Love by Erica and Cryer has started the series that Cryer is Love by Erica. <laughs> Baby Daddy. And they just doing videos back and forth. And it's, you know, we we really know that that's not his child because he done said it before but we just kind of just watching to see how it's gonna all end so mucker and toya are still on here doing cooking videos and i knew when toya dropped this let the, the second cooking video on the channel of the gumbo and she didn't wash her meat i knew she had to add there. my turkey next to start giving it that smoky feel i don't know about y'all i love these in my gumbo I love these boiled and seafood balls. Mm. Baby, don't I love them turkey necks when I go get crawfish? Yeah, you sucking the meat out of them. Yeah. I knew she had muckered in, because I mean, I'm like, girl, we really seeing how nasty you is. When she was with Cray, we didn't see all of us. Like, we was just blind sighted by all the stuff that she was doing, but then just like gradually all the stuff she's doing. You just not know you get with somebody. And the person that you with annoy you so bad to the point you like, why you say this before we like why? Myself, Latoya, maybe you want too much in a man. You know, I wanted a man that was independent, first had his own house, because I've I met some men that was still living on their mama's sofa. <laughs> had their car, first off, had a job. But anyway. They do the cooking video of him making the gumbo, her making the gumbo, and everybody's just talking junk about that. It, it, it's just all, it's all, it's very inter entertaining around this time. You got Mocha and Creole Bay over here. You got Love by Eric and Cry over here making the video, and everybody's just like, some people loving the Mocha, some people loving Cry and Erica together, and then everybody's calling Cry a superhero because Cry is stepping up to the plate. He is doing what Mocha should be doing. He's being up a love by Erica regardless of what the situation is. Because he have another child with her. And everybody is like, big ups, crier, good looking out, great job. And on the other hand, you got the Mucker family and Toya over here. Still doing videos. And they just blew our mind with this very video. They dropped a video of not even how many months. I think it was probably five months into them actually coming onto YouTube. And they dropped a video of him proposing to her. He come on and he's like, oh, I'm about to propose to her for the second time. And she deserved this, this whirlwind proposal. So they come on here and do this proposal for YouTube. Because they already proposed to her once. And we was like, what you proposing to her for again? 
<laughs> of that. So he proposed to her for the second time at this restaurant and you hear all these people cheering in the background and everybody's like, what are y'all doing? If you already proposed to her once, why you gotta do it again for us to see it? Cause that go to show is not for, for y'all, it's for us. So y'all can show us that y'all, it, it was just weird. So he comes on, do the engagement video or whatever. He proposed to Toy. Now the internet is like, it's something ain't right with these two. So people start digging up information on Mucker and Toya. And when they pull up this, when they start digging information up on Mucker, they figure out that Mucker did in fact get a divorce, but Toya was still married. Nobody could find her divorce. So everybody's pulling up all this stuff about Toya seeing why she's not divorced and how you gonna get married to this man if you're not divorced. So on the other hand, you got the Mucker them over here pretending like they about to do all this extravagant stuff and they done drop an engagement video and Love by Erica drops a Q&A. And in Love, Love by Erica Q&A, she's responding to some of the BS that's going on because before that, y'all know that Cryer and Erica was quiet on the internet. They weren't saying nothing. They was quiet. They was just minding their business. They weren't even listening to what was going on. And I was like, Love by Erica is better than me because I would have had to let this I almost said the H word. I can't say that word either. I, I would have let her know. Like, girl, I would have went off on her. But little by Erica kind of held her composure. And she didn't say anything. And then she dropped this Q&A. And a uh, people was asking her, like, how does, it, how does it feel to see your ex treat a woman better than you, she treats you, he treats you? And little by Erica actually is elaborating on that. I'm going to insert a clip so y'all can hear what she say. And then she pretty much really know that they're treating the new person better just because a person don't know your worth don't mean that you're not worthy as long as you know your worth that's all that matters and also you got to look at things like a blessing you got to look at things like you dodged the bullet you know what i'm saying like you dodged the bullet like only god only god knows the truth about new relationships or whatever the case i wouldn't beat myself up too bad about it but more so if I was you, I would get offended because it just shows you that if they can treat the new person how you wanted to be treated, then they could have done you, they could have treated you the same way, if not better. And they chose not to because they didn't feel like you was the one. And that's that's how I feel about, you know, anybody that I've been with in my past, uh, and even women that come to me for advice on their relationship, which I don't know why they do that, but I guess they feel like I handle situations like a boss and I do period we just gotta stop beating ourselves up like a man gonna be a man for one but they gonna you know what I'm saying like if they didn't treat you the way you wanted to be treated there's somebody out there sweetheart who will and then some and it may just be somebody that you done already been in a relationship with I was just saying that the relationship is for show and they're doing it to hurt her right so the Mucker family did not respond to that. They just kind of brushed it on the wayside. Now, in the meantime, people are still digging up Toya and Mucker information, trying to figure out what, what world Toya got going on. She's not divorced. They, they didn't find any divorce um, documents on her. And then when I, while they was Googling her name, they found out that she had a car accident, um, had a car accident and was sued. And they were saying she was, had a DUI or whatever the case may be. And then people were saying that, now, before the engagement, you seen Mucker kids as well as Toya kids on the channel. But after a while, they just stopped. It was just completely them. So people was like, where Mucker kids at? Now, Mucker was very big on having his kids around before he got with you, Toya, so where his kids at? So Toya and Mucker dropped a video with Junior and Paige. Now, y'all, in this video, something stood out to me. I don't know if y'all picked up on it, but I'm You're not gonna eat the cake? <laughs> okay, what you wanna do when you get older? Stay at other people's houses. Stay at other people's house. How you gonna make money? Take the money. <laughs> if y'all see what I see. But in this video, Toya, you know, they kind of at the park and and Toya took the kids to get cupcakes. So they get back to Mucker's house because Toya has now moved in with Mucker. Toya has now moved in with Mucker. 
And Paige, she asked, she asked Paige, Paige, what do you want to be when you grow up? And she said, I want to live in other people's houses. And Toy was like, what do you mean living in other people's houses? She tried to laugh it out. And Paige was like, yeah, I want to live in other people's houses. And Toy was like, how will you make the money? Paige said, take the money. Now, after that video, and y'all can go back to their page and look and see if I'm lying. You don't see Paige anymore. You'll see his other daughter, Ramaya, but you don't see Paige come around no more. So that stood out to me. So anyway, they're making these videos. Um, they go back to making a video, having churches in the living room. They're doing all this stuff on their channel. We just like, please forget it already. Forget it already. So then, Toya and Mucka drops a Q&A explaining to people. They drop a second Q&A on their they channel. One on hers, one on his. And they're explaining to the people if Toya is married or not, as well as Mucker saying some other stuff. I'm inserting some clips so you guys can um hear it. This is my last question, and I can't wait to answer this one. Hmm. This question says, Latoya, are you divorced? <laughs> is something on my hand? You see something on my hand? There's yeah. something there. It's an engagement ring. It's a oh. beautiful. And then you get engaged to do what? To get married. Okay. And don't we stay in Houston, Texas? We sure do. So can you marry more than one person? Nope, you cannot. Oh, so I wonder why would I say yes if I'm still married to my <laughs> ex-husband? Well, but anyway, they dropped this Q&A and they're elaborating on all the stuff that people are saying about them. I don't know who that is. So they dropped this video elaborating on all the stuff that people are saying about them. Still taking shots at Cray and them and they calling people weird or whatever the case may be. Now, around this time, y'all remember Love by Erica had a car accident. And she had the car accident. She had to be admitted to the hospital because her water broke. And she was looking to have to stay in the hospital because they didn't want her to go home and deliver the baby because her water, her water was broke. So she was upset and crying because she was having to stay in the hospital. And she was dealing with this all by herself. And she was going to be away from baby Dion. And she was just, and then Cryo was in Indiana and... It was just rough on her. Like everybody was sympath was sympathetic when it came to Love by Erica's situation. Been and I'm gonna put a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But oh. she was crying in the hospital bed, upset because she was going through this. And then y'all know she hadn't been through COVID. And she was going through the little situation with Mucka, having to take the shots for her baby and him not being there. And it was just like it was tough to watch. So she's in the hospital bed. She's crying. And, you know, she's pretty much saying she don't have anybody. She don't know what she's going to do. And then the child's father is not there. So everybody's on Mucker head. Everybody is on his head. Like, dude, like, you really not going to step up at, at this time right now? She's in the hospital bed. Y'all still taking shots and doing these videos or whatever the case may be. Like, do you have a f***ing heart? So anyway, while I love about Erica's in the hospital. They dropped their second part to their Q&A that I was telling y'all about when Toy came on here tried to prove that she was not married. Printed this documentation from somewhere. I don't know where. But anyway, in the beginning of part two, Mucker is pretty much trying to clear his name, saying the love by Erica told him. And that way, if the baby is mine, I would love to have a beautiful co-parenting situation with you because a lot of days I was watching the little ones anyway. So you already know that, but you... Anyway, just to sum it up, he pretty much is saying that Love by Erica pretty much told him, changed the number, told him to leave her alone and wait till the baby come, that she didn't want to be bothered with him. And he's pretty much saying that in this video, like, she told, what do y'all want me to do? She told me to, to not bother her until the baby is done, and that's what, I, that's what I'm doing. And then he's pretty much saying, um, I don't have any hate for Love by Erica. I pretty much helped her get in the house because her credit was not good and where it needed to be and... Yada yada yada. And I'm gonna show y'all text messages of of us going back and going back and forth, and her telling me to just wait till the baby is born. Yada yada yada. So he said it and opened up his video, and then they go into the video and just kind of explain how they got together, and that she's so in love, and that she knew that Mucker was yeah, gonna be. Like, this man is really the one. Like we're around each other all day, every day. We have been for months. 
and I have not yet been like, boy, just leave me alone and go somewhere. Okay, here this lady is delusional. She is delusional as well as him. So they make the second video Q&A, they drop it. And Cryer, Cryer makes a video responding to their Q&A. He do a two-part video responding to their Q&A. And Cryer is upset because number one, he's like, little by Erica's in the hospital. You trying to dog her out. You saying all the stuff. Y'all come on this internet. No way, y'all. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. Let's rewind. Mucker made a community post. Y'all remember that long ass community post? Uh oh. Showing my stomach. Y'all remember Mucker made that long ass community post? Long ass community post. He was he called Cryer sick because him and Love by Erica did the series saying that the baby was was Cryer. So Mucker pretty much called Cryer sick. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. If I find it, I'm gonna insert in this video. If I don't, I know y'all remember the post because. Is it really reality? Is it really reality? I cannot can talk. Um, put it on his his page. So if y'all want to go see, I'm pretty sure he got it on there because he was talking junk about it or whatever the case may be. But Mucker makes his long community post, like right after Little by Erica did her video in the hospital. So then we're gonna go back to the Q and A. So Mucker made the Q and A. Y'all know I just said that part. So after the Q and A, Cryer comes on here, and Cryer is upset. He was like, dude, you go make a community post calling me sick when y'all the ones who are sick. Y'all came onto my platform and y'all got together, but y'all gonna call us sick. Christ was saying, I'm sick for making sure your child is taken care of while you over here playing house with somebody else while y'all trying to make yourself look good. Oh, Christ was going off. I'm gonna insert some clips so y'all can see. What type of sick person does that? What type of sick person runs up behind a man after his ex-girlfriends. What? What type of sick individual runs up behind another man's girlfriends? As big as this state is, you can't find your own girl? Huh? What's gonna happen if I bring another girl to my channel? You gonna be in her DMs too? You know, this is- So Cry was like, if y'all don't leave me alone, I'm gonna really set the internet off, my internet off. Cryer was not playing Cryer, so he did not come to play. So Cryer dropped the video of him going off on Mucker and Toya. He was like, if y'all don't leave me alone, I'm going to go do an interview. No, he said, matter of fact, I'm going to do an interview with her ex so y'all can see how, these, how this lady really is. And then Cryer was like, what happened to your ex-husband? Allegedly, what happened to your ex-husband? Because he's not, he, y'all made him disappear. Oh, I can really... Um, it was like, I can really shut the internet down because you know I know. Nothing. But I will say this though right here. I got something. I got something. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Don't play with me. That's real funny how y'all silence the ex-husband out. Or is he the ex-husband? Is he really the ex-husband? Y'all silence the hell out that dude real quick before it hit the table high. Huh? I'm going to tell you like this. I don't owe loyalty to you or her. None of y'all. Since you wanna And I'm like, dang Cry, what you know? So Cryer is like upset in this video because they came for love by Erica. So he dropped that video. He was like, I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't don't be quiet, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'ma let I'ma let it come out. So Cryer is still, you know, upset. Cryer drops a part two. And in Cryer part two, he's showing a video of him like at this hotel meeting up with Toya, I'm assuming her ex. And so he paid people to do. He was going to. Do you look like. I mean, like this particular trip would be a better look like. Well, yeah. And so he paid people to do. He was going to pay the people to do an interview, but Cry was like, the people don't even want the money for the interview. So Cry does the interview, but he doesn't release it on his page. He's holding it just in case. Guys, one of the exes, they were together for three years work for this company, uh, it's like a cleaning service, uh, drive one of the big old, I don't want to say the name of the company, drive one of these, uh, it almost looked like a Penske size truck or like the 18 foot U-Haul truck. Works for one of the companies that does like the cleaning services for like companies, uniforms and stuff like that. And you know, he was dropped like a bad habit after three years um, because of, I guess me. 
because somebody seen another opportunity, a quick opportunity, you know, and, and he was dropped like a bad habit. I spoke with him very briefly. I asked him if they could I record a conversation so it wouldn't be no sneaky stuff involved. He said he didn't feel comfortable with the recording, but he broke everything down to me. Did I record it anyway? Maybe. Mucker or Toya say something. So they don't say anything responding to Cryer after he dropped video two. And Cryer's just pretty much saying that Mucker threatened his life, saying that he wanted him dead on Damien's 30th birthday. And Cryer was like, live it, because he was like, I can't believe that you said this about me. I can't believe that you would want me dead on my son's birthday. Like, what did I do to you for you to want me dead? Because I should be mad at you because you slept with both of my exes. So what's the problem? So, Cryer. You know, I'm like, man, you said that? The big homie, the big successful realtor wants me dead on my son's birthday? I never posed no threat to this man, bro. But Cryer is upset and we finally like, by time you put your big man draws on, by time y'all say something to these people, Cryer has had it. So he drops that video saying that Mucker said that about him wanting him dead. And people was like, where you get that from? Who, how, wait, what, where it come from? Who told you that? Like, Cryer is like really dropping tea now. We like, is this shit true? Mark, you said you wanted him dead. So we don't have any proof of it. So everybody speculate, making their little videos and saying whatever. So y'all, love by Erica. Y'all remember I said she was in a hospital and she wasn't going to be able to leave because they were scared she was going to go home and deliver her baby. Well, they make it where Love by Erica, they plug her, what is it, her membrane? I don't, y'all, I don't remember all those words. But anyway, they make it so Love by Erica is released from the hospital. And baby, when Love by Erica is released from the hospital, she dropped the series.